Okay, so uh, first thing we are gonna do, we are gonna be using the Gwen Stefani palette. It's an oldie but a goodie, and for the look I'm trying to get, this should be perfect. Don't hold me to it. Uh, I've already laid down my MAC paint pot. <clears throat> so the next step is to take a transition shade. I'm gonna use this one up here that is blonde. And I'm just gonna lay it down. I'm using a Royal and Lang Nickel brush. Uh, you probably already saw it in my video where I unboxed my Boxy Charm. If you didn't see it yet, definitely go check it out. Okay, so next I'm gonna go in with Harajuku right here so I can just go ahead and start building up this intensity. I'm gonna lay this down all over my crease. So we're just gonna sweep it across and try to build up the intensity here because that is what we need. So we're just gonna go over here and do the same thing. And we're just gonna sweep across. Now I know this doesn't seem like I'm doing much, but I wanna build this up a little bit slowly. So we're gonna go in here, take this shade, which is called Sirius. That last one was actually Anaheim, not Harajuku. Sorry, my bad. Uh, this one is called Sirius, and it is indeed a very serious color. It's really dark, so this is gonna be our first dark sweep. And we are gonna try our darndest to blend this out. And if it doesn't blend out a lot, that's okay. Like I've always stated in my videos, um, I have some serious hooded eyes. So I need it to be up a little higher than most people would anyways, if I'm gonna get any kind of payoff out of it as far as being able to see where I'm smoking out this eye. Let me clean that up a teeny bit. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, so there's that. Now we're gonna take the tiniest, tiniest bit of blackout, like just on the tip. And we are gonna pop this out here because this is where we want it to be the most dramatic so you can see what we were going for here. So we just take it in this outer corner and you just blend it into here, kind of bring it up a little bit. And we don't want it to pull all the way over or I don't anyways. <clears throat> so, and this is a pretty quick look. I'm actually shocked that I managed to smoke this out that fast. <sighs> the next thing I wanna do, I'm not gonna cut the crease on this because I want it to be more blended and a little more together as opposed to just like, okay. So we're gonna take our MAC Fix Plus, spray spray. And <sighs> who could have guessed it? I'm gonna pick up Danger with our MAC Fix Plus. And we're just gonna pack this bad little color onto the lid and oh my goodness, it picks up so well. That's awesome. Most people said you don't need MAC Fix Plus and I can see why. Cause it is picking up incredibly with this. So I imagine even without it, we would still get pretty much the desired effect here. Okay, let me get a little closer here. Sorry for leaving y'all hanging for a second, but I need to bring this up a little more. Okay, now for the other eye, we're gonna just do the same thing. Just pack it on. Go back for a little bit more. And just try to even it out. 
because it is a little bit patchy which is because I wet my brush not the palette's fault that's my fault because I did not need to do that but you know I gotta be a little bit extra all the time okay wipe that all right so I think we have got this glue down let me double check what my lash line needs to be okay <clears throat> So we're gonna take, oh scary scary, take a little bit of serious because I do not want to put black out on my lower lash line and we're gonna sweep that across here. Okay. And we're gonna take it on the other eye and just sweep it across. On this same brush, we're gonna take some of the blue color keeping up with names it's called danger and we're just gonna put it down here just to give us a little bit to tie this all together and I am usually a very much so no don't wear blue eyeshadow it looks horrible but I'm kind of digging this a little bit and I think with just a teeny bit more work I could actually make it like wearable. I would not wear this to work, but it's not too bad. Okay, <clears throat> now do you want, okay, we need to take on a different flat brush, we are gonna use this little baby one here. Actually, first we're gonna go in with um, with Punk. Bear with me, I know this is weird. We're gonna go over the top of this, right here over the edge of Blackout to calm that down, give it a little bit of brown tint. And do that on both. Us. Okay, and now let's see what we can do. We're gonna go in with ch -ch -ch -ch. I think pop would be the best for this down here. It's a really good shimmer shade. I've dug into it a lot. We take a little Mac. Boop. pick up oh which side is it I always do this I forget which side I sprayed it on pick up some pop I kind of have to dig in there to get it and then we're just gonna put that in this inner corner we're gonna try to pack it on heavy because the whole point of this look is to have this like pop going on in here and a lot of the point of this look is to have this pop. Okay. So let's go in on this other eye. put a tiny bit more over here to kind of get it a little brighter <coughs> and then the last thing I want to do I'm gonna take my favorite blending brush and this is a trick I always use when I feel like I've gotten too much up here in this top part I always go in with the lightest shimmer and instead of just highlighting my brow bone I drag it over everything up here and I feel like that calms it down and kind of blends it a little bit better so we're gonna do that right now because I promise you I have gone crazy up here by my eyebrow okay and 
and this one is called bath water that I'm using second from the left on the top row okay so that's that now what we need to do is eyeliner we are gonna take my Bella Pierre right here and we're gonna pop it in my waterline it is not the absolute best I've ever used um, I used to have some just like it I got out of an ipsy and it was incredible I don't I don't know why this one's not as good but it still does the job just doesn't get quite as dark as I like but that's okay and then we are gonna go in with my holy grail Stila you gonna focus in for me probably not but we're gonna take this and do a cat eye with it so bear with me because if you've seen my videos you know I suck at these but this look calls for one unfortunately and I cannot leave it out because as always with these dramatic looks if you don't do the cat eye you just don't tie it together and then you just look crazy running around with way too much blue on your eyes or that's how I would look anyways so we are gonna draw this up and I'm gonna pull it out so I can get a better line. Yeah, I got a cat eye. Look at me go. Okay, and we are about to clean up this bottom with some. Hey guys, so sorry about that interruption. Um, I ran out of room on my camera, so this final look's gonna be a little less high quality. But this is it. Um, basically all I did was, um, clean it up a little bit down here, uh, finished out my cat eye, I put on some lashes, these are 610 Naturals I believe, and then I used a combination of lip scents, I'll put it in the description, for my lips because I needed this super glossy kind of look so I used opal gloss I do not sell lip scents I just I like to use it sometimes and I know that I'm gonna be out and about today so I need something that's gonna stay all day long but uh yeah so this is the final look let me know what y'all think and I hope you enjoyed this video thanks guys